I love roller coasters. I don't have the opportunity to ride them that often because my descendants, uh, half of my kids, won't ride them. But I thoroughly enjoy a good manufactured scare on a thrill ride. Grace the Glorious Theme by Lewis Sperry Schaefer was somewhat of a roller coaster of a book, but not in the best way. Schaefer's Grace the Glorious Theme was a book written to proclaim and glorify the grace of God given to sinners today through the completed work of Jesus Christ. And I was really looking forward to reading this book and meditating and diving into the grace of Christ. And the book started so, so well. I was absolutely loving its proclamations of God's grace to save us. God's grace is so good that it can kind of make you a little dizzy when you get up close for an intimate examination. It's kind of like you're on the top of a skyscraper and all of a sudden you, you lean out over the edge and the view down and the view beyond is so grand and glorious. It's just too much for you to take in. And there was so much to love in Grace the Glorious Theme. My favorite part of the book might have been this series of short statements on salvation. Salvation is the bestowal, an actual impartation of eternal life. It is not the beauties and artificial imitations of ethical living. Salvation is a divine reconciliation. It is not a human regulation. Salvation is being delivered from and dead to the law. It is not delighting in or doing the law. Salvation is totally by grace, and it's awesome. And I loved how he brought those out with those statements on salvation. And I also loved this quote from a few pages later. God offers no saving ministry of grace, which does not include and guarantee his keeping ministry of grace. We are saved by grace and kept in God in that same grace. So the beginning of the book was excellent, but then Chafer lost me for a little while. He followed it with a section on speaking about grace in different dispensations. Grace today in comparison to the Mosaic Law, and then on grace in the Millennial Kingdom in the future. And he spent far too long on how Jesus taught us a different law for the Millennial Kingdom during his public ministry on earth. And I wholeheartedly disagree with Schaefer on that point. I don't believe that Jesus was teaching a millennial kingdom law in the Sermon on the Mount, but he was teaching the level of adherence that was required to be fully obedient to the law in order to be righteous before God. If you really want to live in a good relationship and good standing with God, Jesus is showing you how to do that in the Sermon on the Mount. So this wasn't a law for another age, but this is about two things at once. One, how difficult it would be for any person to perfectly follow the law. And then second, if you want to walk in obedience and right relationship with God, here is what God is looking for from his people. I also expected his lengthy chapter on the Sabbath in the church age to kind of be more of the same, to continue to be a chore to get through. But this was actually the best writing that I've ever read on the subject of practicing the Sabbath in the church age. I found it to be relatively engaging considering the topic and very helpful if this subject ever comes up in my future pastoral ministry. It was really good stuff. And then the final section of the book, it, it fell a little flat for me. It, it was okay, uh, but it just wasn't great. It wasn't living up to the high standard that Schaefer set early on in the book. But it was the conclusion of the book where Schaefer delivered what was, for me, my favorite quote in the entire book. Grace is not a way of escaping obedience to God. It is the only possible way in which true obedience can be secured. So if you want to be obedient to God in this life, the place to find it is not by crafting your own law, but it is by running to the grace of the gospel in Jesus Christ. So here's my basic review of Grace the Glorious Theme by Lewis Berry Schaefer. It had some wonderful highs. 
it also had some disappointing lows. If I read it again, I would probably jump around a little bit more, skip some sections that weren't as good. One difficulty I have reading this review, though, is that the Kindle version of Grace the Glorious theme is not set up well, and it's kind of hard for me to tell which chapter I'm reading in and which section. So I'd encourage if you read this book, uh, if you read this book to try and track down a paper, a hard copy of Grace the Glorious Theme because the Kindle version just isn't formatted very well. But if I had to rate this book as far as one out of five stars or five out of five stars, I'd probably give it three out of five stars because it's really, really great, really wonderful in its highest places, but then it has some other places that just kind of fell flat for me. But the one thing, if we're going to talk about the grace of God, that is a five out of five stars every time. There is nothing better in this world than the wonderful grace of God, which we can receive through faith alone in Jesus Christ and not by following the laws of Moses or some law that code that we're going to write up in the church today. So I would encourage you to spend some time in Lewis Berry Schaefer's Grace the Glorious theme. Be ready that if a chapter is really not sticking with you well, just skip it and go on to the next section because there's wonderful, some wonderful information here for every believer today. And if you enjoyed this review and you want to stay engaged in the encouraging world of Christian literature, I would encourage you to subscribe to the Rev Reads YouTube channel.